Defense Central attended this year's edition of the World Defense Show in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Hosted by Saudi Arabia's General Authority for Military Industries, this year's edition of the World Defense Show welcomed over 100,000 visitors and featured 773 exhibitors from 116 countries. In our past videos, we explored cutting-edge platforms from Saudi Arabia, the UAE, China, Turkey, the EU, and delved into global defense market dynamics involving the US, Russia, India, and Pakistan. Be sure to watch the videos. Links can be found in the description below. Today, we're exploring deals and platforms involving South Korean companies, as well as a few unique products from smaller companies and startups that caught our eye in Riyadh. Make sure to watch the entire video. You won't want to miss this one. At the World Defense Show this year, South Korean defense companies, including LIG Nex1, Hyundai Rotem, and Hanwha Group, played a significant role by introducing new platforms and showcasing existing ones. The event also saw the signing of Memoranda of Understanding, signaling a strategic effort to expand their influence in the Middle East. The South Korean defense minister's visit to Riyadh as part of a week-long Middle East trip further emphasized the commitment to fostering collaboration in the defense sector between the two countries. One of the country's largest arms manufacturers, LIG Nex-1, showcased various air defense weapon systems capable of multi-layered air defense, customized for the Middle East. Their booth featured air defense systems like the Chaengung-2 missile system for countering ballistic and aircraft threats, a long-range artillery interception system for protecting key areas, and the portable Shingung surface-to-air guided weapon. Interestingly enough, LIG Nex-1 revealed that it had signed a $3.2 billion contract with the Saudi Ministry of Defense in November 2023 involving an undisclosed number of the Cheonggung-2 missile interceptor system. In collaboration with Hyundai Rotem, LIG Nex-1 presented a joint solution for a manned-unmanned ground vehicle platform. This platform combines mission-specific guided weapons and anti-drone systems. With plans to take a leading role in the evolving future warfare market through strategic cooperation in areas like manned unmanned teaming, a company representative told Defense Central. One of the key players in the South Korean defense industry, Hanwha Group and its defense affiliates, Hanwha Aerospace, Hanwha Systems, and Hanwha Ocean, showcased a diverse range of land, sea, and air solutions at WDS this year. Hanwha Aerospace and Hanwha Systems displayed the F-4-14 engine and AESA radar for the Korean fighter KF-21 Boramai, along with advanced avionics and aircraft survivability systems. Earlier discussions between South Korea and Saudi Arabia included the potential joint development of an advanced fighter based on the KF-21 design. While some reports hinted at a fifth or sixth generation multi-role fighter, there are still no official reports confirming this. What is known, however, is that Hanwha Aerospace and Hanwha Systems signed a tripartite memorandum of understanding with the Saudi Arabian Ministry of Defense, reflecting Hanwha's commitment to collaborative efforts in various defense domains from armored vehicles to surveillance and reconnaissance systems utilizing robots and satellites. Hanwha Aerospace also featured the K-9 self-propelled howitzer and the Redback armored vehicle, while Hanwha Ocean exhibited a model of its KSS-3 Batch 2 diesel electric submarine proposed to several countries, including Saudi Arabia. Now shifting our focus, Let's explore some noteworthy platforms that captured our attention at WDS 2024. Teledyne FLIR, a US-based company, unveiled details about its newest large counter unmanned aircraft system at WDS this year. Expanding on the existing Argus CUAS, the latest Cerberus XL is a mast-mounted trailer transportable system. The company plans to export this proven system to Ukraine by the end of April and also deliver it to the Middle East region by the end of the year. The Monaco-based company, Mars, 
specializing in defense and security technology, unveiled its latest surveillance system at WDS this year. Called Radar Guard, this AI-powered solution is designed to replace traditional standalone perimeter security systems, providing continuous monitoring, detection, tracking, and decision support for critical locations, such as government buildings, landmarks, military bases, and national borders. Integrated with Mars's NIDAR, Radar Guard serves as a comprehensive solution for command and control operations, enhancing the protection of critical infrastructure and perimeters. Lucid Motors introduced a cutting-edge smart police vehicle for the Saudi Arabian Police Forces at WDS 2024. Aligned with the Saudi 2030 initiative, this electric vehicle represents a significant step in modernizing the kingdom's police forces. The cruiser features a large siren, police markings, and the Saudi Arabia General Directorate of Public Security logo. However, what makes this vehicle special is the compartment opening from the top of the cruiser's abnormally large siren that can house an unmanned aerial vehicle. With around 61% ownership by Saudi Arabia's public investment fund, Lucid Motors continues to contribute to the country's automotive landscape, delivering the Lucid Air and securing a fleet deal for 100,000 EVs over 10 years. So, what do you think? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content coming up soon.